Have you ever wondered what truly separates the poker pros from the amateurs? In the world of poker, it's not just the cards that play the game, but the players themselves, turning the table into a silent battlefield of psychological warfare. Beyond the basic rules and strategies lies a deeper, more intricate layer of understanding human behavior, deception, and tactical thinking. To master poker, one must not only focus on the probability and odds, but also on the psychological tactics that drive decisions at the table. This involves reading opponents, masking one's own intentions, and strategically manipulating the flow of the game. Poker pros excel not because they always have the best hand, but because they know how to make the best out of the hand they are dealt. They observe, adapt, and influence, turning every game into a mental marathon. Understanding these psychological underpinnings is crucial for anyone looking to elevate their game from amateur to expert. So let's dive into the minds of poker pros and uncover the strategies that make them formidable opponents. Bluffing isn't just about deception, it's an art form rooted in psychological expertise. Imagine sitting at a poker table, cards in hand, and knowing that your success hinges not just on what you hold, but on what others believe you hold. This is the essence of bluffing, a fundamental skill in poker that turns the game into a thrilling mental battlefield. At its core, bluffing is about projecting confidence, regardless of the cards you're dealt. It's about convincing your opponents that your hand is stronger than it actually is, or sometimes, vice versa. Effective bluffing can compel opponents to fold superior hands or coax them into betting aggressively when they shouldn't. Psychologists suggest that successful bluffing involves a deep understanding of human behavior. It requires an ability to read subtle cues in body language, gauge the emotional states of opponents, and predict their likely responses. This manipulation of perception makes bluffing a potent psychological tool. Consider the story of a famous poker match where a player, with nothing but a high card, managed to bluff their way to victory against a full house. The bluffer maintained a calm demeanor, steadily raising the stakes, leading their opponent to believe they held an unbeatable hand. The opponent, overwhelmed by the pressure, folded, handing the victory to what was essentially a weak hand. Professional poker players often employ strategies like the semi-bluff, where they bluff while holding a hand that could potentially improve. This strategy not only manipulates opponents' perceptions, but also keeps the bluffer's options open allowing them to still win if the right cards come up. Another tactical approach is the stone-cold bluff, bluffing with a hand that has no potential of winning if called. This is high risk, but can yield high rewards, especially in no-limit games where one convincing move can result in massive pots. Mastering the art of bluffing isn't just about knowing when and how to deceive. It's about understanding the psychology of your opponents, controlling the narrative at the table, and making calculated decisions that influence the game's outcome. Mastering the bluff means mastering the mind of your opponent. A twitch, a smile, or even the flicker of the eyes can reveal a lot at a poker table. In the intricate dance of poker, these subtle physical or behavioral signs are known as tells. Imagine sitting at a table, cards in hand, and being able to discern whether your opponent is bluffing or holds a winning hand just by observing these tells. Intriguing, isn't it? Tells range from the obvious to the nearly imperceptible. A player might drum their fingers when nervous, or perhaps their eyes dart briefly to their chips when they view a strong hand. Each tell is a unique piece of the psychological puzzle that players strive to solve in real time. Mastering this aspect of poker is not just about keen observation, but understanding the human psyche. Now, hiding one's tells is as crucial as detecting them. Skilled players develop a poker face, a blank expression that masks their emotions and intentions. This poker face is an art form in itself, cultivated through practice and self-awareness. The goal is to become unreadable, to cloak your true intentions in a veil of ambiguity. But how do players become adept at this game of psychological hide-and-seek? Many professional players talk about the importance of experience. They spend countless hours at the table, which helps them not only to perfect their own disguises but also to recognize the patterns and habits of others. They learn that every little hesitation or overly confident bet can speak volumes. 
Some pros also engage in exercises to enhance their mental acuity and control. These might include mindfulness practices to improve focus or studying psychology to better understand human behavior. It's a continuous learning process, with the human element of poker providing endless nuances to explore. So the next time you sit down to play, remember that poker is not just a game of cards. It's a complex interplay of strategy, psychology, and intuition. Understanding tells is like having a window into your opponent's thoughts. And in a game where information is power, that is a formidable advantage indeed. In poker, losing your cool can mean losing your chips. Imagine sitting at a table surrounded by opponents, each one analyzing your every move. In this high-stakes environment, emotional control isn't just an advantage, it's a necessity. Professional poker players often liken the game to a mental marathon, where maintaining psychological balance can be as crucial as holding the right cards. Emotional regulation in poker involves more than just keeping a poker face. It's about managing internal stress and keeping your emotions from dictating your actions. One technique employed by seasoned players is mindfulness. By staying present in the moment, players can detach from the highs of a winning hand and the lows of a bad beat, thereby maintaining a steady mental state throughout the game. Another key strategy is cognitive restructuring. This involves changing the way one thinks about potentially upsetting situations. Instead of viewing a loss as a personal failure, it's seen as an opportunity to learn and adapt. This shift in perspective can prevent tilt, a term used to describe emotional frustration that often leads to poor decision-making. Visualization is also a powerful tool. Before games, many professionals spend time visualizing various playing scenarios, including stressful ones. This mental rehearsal prepares them to handle real game pressures more effectively, keeping their decision-making clear and rational. By mastering these psychological techniques, poker players equip themselves with the mental resilience required to face any challenge at the table. Control your emotions, and you control the game. Sometimes the game is won even before the cards are dealt. In the intricate dance of poker, it's not just about the hand you're dealt, but how you play the mind sitting around the table. Today, let's delve into the shadowy corners of psychological warfare and poker. Psychological warfare and poker goes beyond mere bluffing. It encompasses a range of strategies designed to unsettle and dominate opponents mentally. One of the most potent tools in a player's arsenal is intimidation. Picture this. A player who consistently makes large, confident bets, maintaining a piercing stare down or showcasing a disconcerting calmness. This can cause opponents to doubt their own hands and decisions, leading them to fold more often or make costly mistakes. Then there's table talk, a tactic as old as the game itself. Some players are maestros of conversation, using chat to mislead or distract others. They might casually downplay their hand, subtly boast about past wins, or needle opponents to disrupt their focus. This chatter isn't just idle talk, it's calculated, aimed at extracting information or injecting doubt. Strategic betting is another dimension of psychological play. It's not just about how much you bet, but when and against whom. For instance, consistent overbetting can pressure opponents, making them uncomfortable and more likely to slip up. Conversely, sudden shifts in betting patterns can confuse and unsettle the table, keeping rivals perpetually off balance. Let's recall a famous instance where psychological warfare decided the outcome. In a high-stakes game, a seasoned player faced a notorious bluffer. By using a mix of aggressive betting and stoic demeanor, the seasoned player managed to unnerve the bluffer, leading to a series of flawed decisions and ultimately a spectacular collapse. In poker, psychological warfare isn't just about playing cards, it's about playing the player. Each move, each bet, each word is part of a larger strategy designed to dominate the psychological landscape of the table. In poker, a well-timed psychological play can be your strongest move. Now that we've peeked into the psychological toolkit of top poker players, what have we learned? Firstly, the art of bluffing. It's not just about having a poker face, but also about convincing your opponents that the reality of your hand is different from what it actually is. This strategic deception can compel opponents to fold superior hands or coax them into betting when they shouldn't. Bluffing is truly a dance of persuasion and pressure. Next, we explored reading tells. 
Every twitch, smile, or hesitation can be a window into a player's mind. Skilled players decode these subtle cues to determine their opponent's confidence in their hands. This ability to read the table can be as valuable as the cards held in one's hand. We then delved into emotional control. Poker is a roller coaster of highs and lows, and maintaining a steady emotional state can prevent costly mistakes. Players who master their emotions can make logical decisions under pressure, turning potential losses into wins. Lastly, psychological warfare. This involves using a combination of tactics to unsettle opponents. By manipulating their perceptions and emotions, a player can gain a significant advantage, influencing how opponents play their hands. Each of these strategies plays a crucial role in the game of poker. They intertwine to create a complex battlefield where psychological prowess often dictates the outcome more than the cards themselves. Remember, poker isn't just played on the table, it's played in the mind. Mastering these psychological tactics is crucial to becoming a top player.